So I created this video especially for those on the same situation and to give awareness to everyone that there is such a thing as the white coat syndrome and the orthostatic hypertension. And I also wanted to share with everyone my experiences that I went through, especially with the 24 hour ambulatory BP monitor. I have an appointment right now at the hospital today at 12, uh, 12 noon and it's already 11.30 and it's quite late I think, I hope you can make it. We're going to pass through the South Subo Highway just to try to be on time and we just stopped over right now at the ATM before we leave. Just came from the hospital and they placed me on a BP, a 24 hour BP monitor, which is strapped on my arm, like you can see. And it has a pack on my waist where the data goes and the battery is. So let's see how it goes and I'll explain it at home when we arrive. I just had our lunch and took a few minutes rest before I came here back again to the car to explain to you guys what my appointment was all about so my appointment was about that um, they just wanted to rule out that I don't have the white coat effect okay let me explain first what the white coat effect is so they suspect I have it because every time I go to an office setup I mean a hospital or a clinic setup or any um, yeah you can call it clinic setup with anyone wearing any white coat it doesn't have to be a white coat anybody I see the monitor with a blood pressure monitor holding it or maybe they have a stethoscope I become anxious and my BP will shoot up of the roof it will reach around um, sample was like it will reach around the highest was 180 over 101 which is really oh, high for me no. and I'll get really bad headaches when I reach the hospital so he just wanted to rule it out because I I explained to the doctor that my BP is always very low at home since I have my own BP monitor and I regularly monitor every day twice a day and I feel I see it very very low it's uh, reaches uh, the lowest at 87 or 86 over 56 which is very low for me because I have the symptoms of low blood pressure like I would get um, really dizzy really super dizzy and lightheaded and then I will have uh, like cold sweats and then my ears will start um, clogging and sometimes I would see like um, if it's not black blackout or maybe I will see like bright lights and the only way I can relieve that is just to lay down on my back and lift my leg if not I could I would just tilt my be uh, my head backwards onto the edge of the bed so without a pillow I'll just tilt my head backwards and then I could feel all like um, the blood rising up 
like circulating and then everything will come back to normal so that's the only remedy i could do so i told the doctor about that and he could not um, give me any medicines for it because every time i go to the doctor the my bp will be all over the place you know it's what it's not stable really so he recommended me to place this on they placed me on a 24-hour ambulatory um, monitor which is strapped here on my arm and then connected you can he see here on my waist it's connected here to a battery pack and it's um, this is where the data also is collected here then this after 24 hours I'll be back again to the hospital tomorrow for an appointment and it's exactly the same time exactly 24 hours they will take it off and then they will load it onto a computer and then they'll get the results over there then print it out and give it to the doctors so, so it'll take like every one hour it will stop pumping and you just go on with your daily routine like maybe cook um, clean the house go to work but this will be strapped onto you stuck to you for 24 hours even in your sleep so they sh she said to me that maybe I'll be disturbed in my sleep and then I won't be able to sleep tonight so she said it's normal it's okay but just take care of the machine because it's very very sensitive and the buttons are sticking out like that so once you touch it or maybe you hit it on some an object it might turn off or might restart and she said she said to me that every time it or if that happens I have to call the hospital or I don't know if they have to do uh, redo it or read the schedule again and then I have to pay again which is really bad and she gave me this this, this is a uh, she calls it a diary I don't know it looks like a piece of papers here and it says here she told me to um, scribble anything like and take notes if something happens to me or um, for example, I eat and I feel my blood pressure goes up. I have headaches or something or maybe I'm running or doing something stressful. Place it all here like with the time. She said, put it here in the time, in activity. What were you doing? And she said to me, and what symptoms did you have? Was it a headache? Was it back pain or something? Yeah. So, here. And it has a patient instructions behind too. So, it says here uh check what what to do and record it's regular thing <laughs> and good luck to me for tomorrow or tonight if i'm able to sleep and we'll be back again tomorrow and we'll see if we can get the results and if i get the results tomorrow then i can make my consultation you see that we need to um take care of yourself and take care of your health uh other than eating healthy and everything so I just came from the hospital a few hours ago and then I wanted to update you guys immediately what happened today and during the course of the 24 hour monitoring of my BP. So we arrived there at 1.15 today and which was my uh, appointment time but they took me in at around 1.40 because they wanted to um, get my last pump of, my, of the machine because it came late supposed to be at 115 but the pump came around 135 like that and then after it pumped I had to wait again another few minutes because they wanted to make sure that the data was securely saved onto that little package on my waist doctors said um, the results will be out on Monday and it's already Thursday so it'll be out in a few days from now so hopefully tomorrow I'll have to make an appointment with the cardiologist so he can re read my results and maybe he can um, find a solution to my problem share with you what happened yesterday during the course of my monitoring of my BP so it was a little bit of a struggle especially during my sleep I have insomnia but it added to my insomnia because every time I wake up uh, the monitor or uh, every time I wake up it will, it will pump and then I won't be able to go to sleep again so it kept me awake whole night 
and I only had like three hours sleep. I went to bed at nine and I woke up at 12 and then tried to fall asleep again until three o'clock but no avail. So I got up from bed and then the pump started going up and I noticed that my BP was really high because I was really anxious trying to get back to sleep. And finally I did, like a few minutes only and I was relaxed already. When I woke up, um, my BP went back to normal when it pumped again. So the whole duration of the morning was normal until I tried, um, I tried the test to test if I had the orthostatic hypertension because I've been monitoring myself with my own monitor as you can see here over here that uh, every time I stand up like more than 30 minutes a day uh, I would feel really really um, dizzy or if not dizzy I'd be lightheaded and I have cold, cold sweats, um, tightness in the chest and my ears would get clogged and as I said every time I do that I'll have to lay down and tilt my head backwards so I did that I did a test um, with that monitor I stood up like 30 minutes and yeah it really uh, went down so it registered like 82 over um, uh, 51 which is low for me and then I had all that symptoms too so hopefully the doctor will take note of that yeah I did it twice actually and it really did the same thing so I wanted um, this test actually will have to rule out the orthostatic hypertension and the white coat effect so I created this video especially for those on the same situation and to give awareness to everyone that there is such a thing as the white coat syndrome and the orthostatic hypertension and I also wanted to share with everyone my experiences that I went through especially with the 24-hour ambulatory BP monitor so if you find this video really 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 helpful please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and I also want to hear your stories so if you can just place them in the comments below and I will go through them after this video and hopefully on my next vlog I will share with you guys um, the results of my test but till then I will see you